soil is the essence of all terrestrial life. And if the soil functions are somehow undermined by land degradation, by extractive uh, farming practices, by making quick gains uh, rather than the long-term sustainable use, uh, the ecosystem services that soil provide uh, cannot be maintained. Even at present, uh, soils and agriculture and the related processes contribute somewhere between 25 and 30 percent of the global warming greenhouse gases emission uh, from these activities. So recognizing this part is very important. Uh, therefore, the solutions that we might find in addressing the climate issue cannot leave the soils and biosphere out of it. In fact, they have to be very much an important component of any strategy that we may find in terms of long-term maintenance. So they are very important. Because soils have lost carbon from them, most soils are about uh, 50 to 70 percent depleted of their carbon pool. So any agricultural practices which can increase the carbon gain in soil over the carbon losses uh, would increase the carbon pool, net carbon pool. And the losses happen due to erosion, decomposition and leaching. And the gains happen due to crop residues, root biomass, the compost manure that we can put in. The idea is that the gains must exceed the losses. Certainly, mining of soil fertility, uh, not replacing what we remove out of the soil, taking away all the crop residue, taking away the animal dung, etc., uh, removing the vegetation cover from the soil has certainly contributed to the imbalance, whether it's a hydrologic cycle, whether it's a carbon cycle, whether it's a nitrogen cycle. So good land use and proper management which maintain an ecological balance are very important to harmonious uh, biosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere, working together to provide the ecosystem services that the earth can provide us. When we disturb that balance, we get problems, such as floods, such as extreme events. In fact, I personally think that if you look at uh, the current, the so-called flashpoint, the, the hot spots in the world where there are political unrest and there are civil strife and so forth, the soil degradation has quite a lot to do with it. This, 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 whether you take the case, wherever the problems are, the soil is an important component of that poor equation of civil strife and unrest and political instability. So if we really want to maintain a harmonious uh, uh, societal lifestyle, the soil quality is very basic to it. We cannot ignore it.